Here's what's been making the business headlines in sub-Saharan Africa this week. South Africa's Sasol said on Friday that it expects half-year profit to decline by as much as 42%. The world's biggest producer of fuels and chemicals from coal and gas said that was due to weaker oil and petrochemical prices and persistent infrastructure problems in Africa's most advanced economy. Ghana's Vice President Mohamedou Baoumia launched his election campaign for the top job on Wednesday, promising to revive the battered economy, fight corruption and boost the private sector. He jabbed his rival, former President John Mahama's economic record, but blamed the current government's weak performance on the global health crisis and Russia's war in Ukraine. To a thundering halt. Amid spiralling public debt servicing costs in 2022, Ghana turned to the IMF for help in what is its worst economic crisis in a generation. ExxonMobil said on Thursday it will exit Equatorial Guinea in the second quarter of this year, transferring its remaining assets to the local government. The company said the decision was aligned with its long-term strategy and comes amid a larger Africa phase-out from legacy crude assets. Guinea's SMB will invest up to 1 billion US dollars over the next five years to boost bauxite exports, its CEO said on Monday. That's after the country's leading producer and exporter of the critical metal exported a record of 48 million metric tons of bauxite ore last year. And finally, soap manufacturer PZ Cussons blamed the devaluation of Nigeria's currency as it warned on Wednesday of a lower annual profit. Nigeria, one of the British company's four major markets, saw the Naira plunge to a record low against the dollar on Tuesday. Shares in the maker of Imperial Leather Soap, Kerex, Hangel and Santrope tanning spray fell as much as 14% to a 15-year low.